We're now in week eight of the course. So let's quickly remind ourselves of what we were talking about over the past week or two, as well as where we're going um, in this week's content. So previously, we were looking at logistic regression models. A couple weeks ago, we built up the model. We talked about confounding, mediation. Last week, we looked at effect modification and when it's included in the model, how we can work with it, how we can calculate the odds ratios under effect modification. And then we talked about what are the assumptions of a logistic regression model, as well as how can we check the linearity assumption. Now this week, it's gonna be a lot of little extras and odds and ends. So we're gonna tie up logistic regression. What we're gonna do is spend a good chunk of time fitting an effect size model to the low birth weight data. We're not gonna recap the uh, model building and variable selection criteria. We've talked about that earlier in the course, so it might be a good idea to refresh on that material if it's uh, not fresh in your memory right now. But so we're going to build a, a model to estimate the effect of smoking on the risk of low birth weight. Then we're going to talk a little bit about stratifying versus modeling effect modification. So if we think the effect of some variable like smoking in this example differs depending on the um, values of some other variable. How can we address that by modeling it versus stratifying? I'll talk a bit in concept, as well as we'll look in R doing one versus the other and, and pros and cons of each. Then we're gonna talk a little bit about R squared type measures. So in linear regression, there's an R squared, which uh, we've talked about. For a logistic regression, there's lots of R squared type measures. And there's no one that's universally accepted as being kind of the best measure. There's lots of competing measures and we'll talk about what some of them are, and we'll look at getting some of them from R as well, the R of the software. And then a few things that are gonna be quickly mostly just mentioned, some of the odds and ends, are goodness of fit tests. What exactly are those and why might we wanna use those? A mention of what multinomial logistic regression is and what it can be used for, as well as ordinal logistic regression. And so a lot of these are extensions that you can Go on, explore on your own if you want. Some of the R squared type measures, we'll talk a bit about them, but a lot of these topics here are gonna be left for you to explore further on your own if you want. And what I mean by extras is they're not gonna be part of the assessed material in the course. So this is a lot of stuff that's nice to know, but not need to know. Stick around guys, there's more to see and please stay safe.